Welcome to my kitchen. I am so thrilled that you're here. We're gonna dive right in to how to meal plan and prep. Now, before you get a little bit antsy, before you think this is like going to be something so super, super hard, I'm here to assure you that it is actually one of the simplest things that you will ever learn. And the most important part is it will get easier with practice. So sometimes it takes a little longer at the beginning, but if you implement a few of these simple little strategies that I'm gonna show you today, you are going to find that this is going to magically unlock so many different things in your life, take so much stress off of, you know, what's for dinner, what are we eating, what are we doing? And you're gonna find that it just gets easier and easier. It just becomes second nature. I can almost promise you that. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Julie Gorman. My passion is health and wellness. I love to teach people about the power of food, how to eat clean, meal planning and prepping is probably one of my superpowers and that's how I kind of keep my own sanity and I do this in my everyday life. So I wanted to show you how I do this in my everyday life and I'm gonna set you up for success. What I'm gonna share with you right off the bat is that meal planning, when you plan what you're going to do for the week, honestly, that is going to be 50% of the challenge. It's not the cooking, it's not the chopping the potatoes up for dinner. It's not putting the roast in the oven. What it is, is simply having a plan and knowing what's for dinner. Once you know what's for dinner, everything else falls into place. Like this fun statistic, when I heard this, I was mind blown that 40 was, no, no, it's bigger than that. It's like 80, 85% of North Americans do not know what's for dinner at 4 p.m. Don't know. So what ha What are you people doing? So you're going into a grocery store and you're wandering around aimlessly, wondering what's gonna fall into your cart and you're gonna end up spending more money, I can guarantee that. Or you're coming home and you're reaching for the fast food that you've bought or you're gonna just grab a pizza on the way home. It is costing you money out of your wallet and it is costing you money out of your health. You don't, you know, this is so much easier. It's gonna cost you less and you're just gonna feel better about the choices that you're making. So what I'm gonna do today, we're gonna take a little bit of extra time here because not only am I gonna show you how to plan, I'm gonna give you a little quick tour of my kitchen, my setup, a little snapshot into what I do. And then I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I do, um, how I incorporate our daily health system into my daily routine. So the first thing I wanna tell you is what I do is on Sunday, is usually the day I do it. I have got this activity down now to maybe 10 minutes, 15 tops. I know when I first started, I struggled a little bit with it. And this is what I do. Like this is, this is it, my friends. This is a dollar store paper, paper, weekly planner. Sunday, Monday, Monday through Sunday. There you go, that's it. That's all I use to meal plan. I don't use a fancy app, although there's tons of great apps out there. I don't use you know, a spreadsheet. I don't do anything like that. I just need a place to put it. And then what I do is I have it hiding on the side of my fridge. So not only is this here for my reference, so I know what's for dinner, what I'm making, or what uh, my family's gonna make, but here's what happens is even my family checks it and goes, oh, leftovers, great. Or maybe, oh, spaghetti, or they're quite excited when it's pizza night, or maybe I say it's gonna be takeout. And this is my meal plan. Mine's pretty simple. You, I, sometimes I will add in my lunch if I know I wanna make something specific for my lunch. I work from home, so I don't, have, um, I don't have to pack a lunch or anything. My family pretty much takes the same standard lunches, so that's just an ongoing thing on my grocery list. Um, so sometimes my lunch might be like a quinoa salad with beans, and I'll make that on the Sunday, so I have it for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or sometimes I just throw myself little ideas. Otherwise, I just sort of think to myself, ah, I'm gonna be doing X, Y, Z for lunch and I carry on. I can also do leftovers. So what you can see is I have one night we had chicken stew here. Uh, last night was leftover night. Then I have tonight we're doing bacon wrapped a pork with some potatoes. Tomorrow is spaghetti and Friday we're doing breakfast for supper, maybe some pancakes. So basically bacon and eggs and pancakes. And then you know what? I haven't gotten to 
I haven't gotten to Friday or Saturday and Sunday yet because sometimes I just kind of make a make a choice later on in the week. I sometimes leave those blank. That's what I do. So you might say to yourself, well, that's super simple, Julie, but I don't even know, you know, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, what, what do I do? So here's where I start. So I start with, I shop from my fridge. So sometimes what I will do, and I have a fridge in my back, um, in my garage as well. That's where I kind of keep most of the leftovers, but let's pretend this is the fridge I keep leftovers in. And I will open my fridge and I will look and I will be like, all right, there's a few things in here that need to be, you know, used up. We got some leftover potatoes or we have, you know, I have some hard boiled eggs that I could turn into something fun. So I like to, I like to shop from my fridge or I might shop from my pantry. And I shop from my pantry because I am one of those shoppers that, it's not letting me turn my camera around. What the heck, people? It's, I guess you can't do that. So if you were to look into my pantry, this is what I do is I shop from my pantry as well. So here's my pantry, you can see. So I might say to myself, hey, look, I got extra you know, canned tomatoes so I could make, you know, I'll do a spaghetti, I gotta use that up. Or maybe I notice that I have, oh, I don't know, oh, the cobs of corn. So maybe now I'm gonna say to myself, hey, we got the water chestnuts, I could do like a stir fry this week. I also have another cupboard. This is my grand pantry. I also have another cupboard. This is where I keep all the pasta. You know, I have my gnocchi up there. So I might say to myself, you know what, let's make some gnocchi. I've got some uh, long noodles, some short noodles. Uh, maybe I noticed the beans. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do something with the beans or the make a chili, that sort of thing. And of course I've got the evil snack cupboard down here. So I will shop from my pantry. Now, some people don't have a stocked pantry like I do. Some people just sort of shop as needed. And that is a okay. So what I will do is I will shop from, sorry for the jiggling, I will shop from my pantry, shop from my fridge, shop from my freezer. Sometimes we get, you know, uh, beef on sale, chicken on sale, or we get like, you know, from the farmer. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe I've frozen something. And like I said, I really try to utilize the leftovers. I really try to keep our food waste to a minimum. The dog doesn't like when I do that. The dog likes it when there's leftovers because sometimes he's lucky and he gets like leftover chicken or rice and that sort of thing. So let's just pretend I don't have the cupboard situation. I don't have any leftovers. Maybe the freezer situation is not where I want it to be. So then what I do, I have my list and what I will do is I have a binder. I am this organized. I have a binder and in this binder I have what I call meal plan favorites. So what I did, I actually printed off a list and then I've added to the list. You can find lists where it's just lists and lists and lists of different recipe ideas because here's where one of the biggest challenges I hear from people is I'm in a recipe rut. I don't know what to make. So you're thinking, okay, I, I know how to plan. I just sit down and plan, but I don't know what to make. So if you don't get that inspiration from the fridge, the pantry, or the freezer, then what you can be doing is going to this book and you can look and you can say, oh, we haven't had lasagna in a little while. Yeah, I got lasagna noodles, perfect, we could do that. Or I haven't had a shepherd's pie in a while. So what you're gonna do is use that list to inspire. The other thing that I will do on occasion, I'm not gonna pretend that I am, you know, some Rachel Ray here that I'm always, you know, know exactly what's for dinner. I sometimes will go into some of my favorite cookbooks and I might look up some different recipes and then I might go, hey, we haven't had, oh, we never tried that. That looks really good. That actually does really look good. Crispy baked fish fillets. So I gotta mark that one. So sometimes I'll just go through and I'll pick a new recipe just for fun. I like to cook. And if you like to cook, awesome. Now let's pretend you are like those people that don't like to cook and that's okay. We can still we can still be friends, it's okay. Because what you can do, I am not gonna judge you. What you can be putting on your meal plan, so let's say you know Thursday night's gonna be a little bit of a busy night. You gotta run the kids to soccer, maybe there's a hockey practice, maybe somebody heading off to dance, there's a recital, maybe you have to work late, whatever. This is what you're gonna be, you're gonna look at your calendar when you're planning out this stuff. And you know what, when you go grocery shopping, 
pick up one of those pre-chopped meals. They're not overly expensive. They are a little bit more expensive, but I'm not gonna say that they are overly expensive and they're usually made with whole foods. Go ahead, put that in. Or plan pizza, that's okay too. On a night where you know you're running and you don't have even time to put a frozen pizza in, buy a pizza. I'm not saying you can't do these things. What I'm saying is make a plan so that you're not scrambling because I can promise you when you have that plan in place, you are gonna feel this huge weight lift off your shoulders. All right, so let me just make sure I've got my list. So you've grocery shopped in your pantry, in your fridge, in your freezer, then you're gonna make a grocery list. And here's the thing, so my family, 99% of the time, they know to do this. When you use something up, butter, ketchup, or there's something that you we run out of, peanut butter, whatever it is, you go to the fridge, and on the side of my fridge is the grocery list, and you're gonna write down what it is that we need. What I do, I'm the grocery shopper for the most part, then if I'm making, say, that new recipe and I know I need the fish, I actually have the fish in my freezer, so I'm kind of excited about that. But let's say you need the fish or you need, you want to buy the coleslaw blend or you want to buy the cabbage. That'll go on the list. And then I just make sure that I've gone grocery shopping before Thursday night when we're going to have the crispy baked fish. So really what it is, is it just about making your life simple. When you plan, you're going to lift off all that weight. So the saying goes, fail to plan and you plan to fail. So if you're wondering why you're scrambling around and doing all the things, it's just a matter of making a plan. So again, when I get out the list, I'm thinking about what I'm doing each day and I do have nights that I'm a little tighter on time. My boys are grown up, but I did this 10 years ago, 15 years ago. When you know what's for dinner, it will make your life so much easier. So if I know Wednesday is going to be a busier night, then what I will do is sometimes I cook what I need on the Thursday or pre-cook what I need on the Thursday. So you might say to yourself, well, what's on the menu for tonight, Julie? You talked about uh, roast and you talked about potatoes. So I'm gonna take you on another little tour here. So through my kitchen. So tonight we are having a bacon roast, or bacon wrapped pork roast. I have a friend that raised some pigs, pretty freaking excited. So in that oven, is my pork roast. So what I had to do this morning, actually I did this on Sunday when I made the plan. I have another freezer out in our garage. I took that uh, roast out, made it handy so that this morning when I checked my plan, what I did is I pulled that out to thaw. I pulled out a pound of bacon to thaw. And then today at lunch, I wrapped the bacon around the pork roast. That's all I did, put some tin foil on. And right now it's in my oven doing a slow cook. So nothing terribly exciting. Then what I will do is I will cut up these beautiful potatoes and I'll toss them in a little oil and a little salt and pepper and then I'm going to roast them in the oven because I already have the oven started. The other thing I will have, I have some frozen veggies, I'll throw those in or maybe because I tend, I tend to have cut up veggies already cut up in the fridge, I usually throw them out but I do happen to have I usually keep my stuff stocked. I will use a cucumber. Maybe I'll cut up uh, some tomatoes. This pepper actually, ooh, that pepper needs to get eaten. So we're gonna put that up top. That'll remind me to cut that up. So that is how I do my meal planning. So again, the reason I'm sharing this all with you is because of simplicity. So that is a little tour of my kitchen. That is what I do um, on a daily basis. Like I said, sometimes we do bring in takeout, sometimes we do you know, extra things. So the last thing I'm gonna share with you is our daily health system because that's the other thing, it's about planning. So the first thing, and because I'm using my phone, you can't see my phone, I would normally hold my phone, but I would show you that I set alarms to make sure that I'm taking the things that I need. So right now, it's actually time for me to take my Activate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how hard this is. So I keep all this stuff handy. Again, it's part of the planning. I have it all set in my phone. I mean, the reason I wanted to share this little piece is because this is why I am doing these videos. I am doing these videos because here's what I know from my many, many years. I'm not just being a mom and a wife and a mother. 
all those things, but also um, as a culinary nutrition expert, as a wellness coach, I know how important it is to plan and to prep and to make sure you're set up for success. So when you're using a system like this, this system that is going to help you make lifestyle changes, if I just said, just take the magic pill, just take the magic potion, and you are just gonna magically feel better, you're gonna release pounds, you are going to get this new increased energy. You are going to find that, um, uh, I don't know, you're sleeping better. We've had so many great results on it. If I told you that's all you needed to do, I would be doing you a huge disservice. Because here's the thing, this is a lifestyle change. And to plan out what you're doing, to make sure that you are getting what you need and um, making sure that you're filling in all those gaps. So when you look at the guide, that was spilling by the way, when you look at the guide, it's not just about taking the transform before your meal or taking your activate, you know, um, to make sure that you're activating your hormones and getting that GLP-1 hormone stimulated. What it means is you have to bring together what a balanced plate, you have to exercise, and that doesn't mean you're gonna be like the next workout star. You're not going for Arnold Schwarzenegger status here. What you're doing is you are gonna get out and move. It's gonna be for a walk, maybe it's yoga, maybe it is gonna be a workout three times a week. So the reason I wanted to stay, to spend a little time here on the meal planning and the prepping side is because if you don't pair this with a balanced plate, if you don't eat the things, whole foods, the vegetables, even if maybe you're not um, into the meat thing, whether it's a vegetarian dish, if you don't plan for success, you are going to fail. And when I say fail, like you can, you can take this stuff, but if you're not eating properly, if you're not drinking enough water, if you're not getting your activated, so refreshing. If you're not doing those things, what's gonna happen is not only are you not gonna see the, the shifts in your metabolic health, you're, it, you're wasting your money. And you're wasting your money right now by running to the grocery store on a daily basis. You're wasting your energy by worrying what's for dinner. Imagine if you knew right now what's for dinner, not just today, but tomorrow and the next day. And you know that you also have a plan in place for next week, even though you haven't written it down, but you know you've got this. That's what's gonna be super important. So that, my friends, is my little tips. And stay tuned for more because I am full of meal planning and prepping tips. Everything from crock pot things to freezer meals um, to cook once, eat twice tips. I have so much, so make sure you stay tuned to my YouTube channel. Make sure you're subscribing to my YouTube channel. Make sure you do that below. Feel free to comment below and let me know what you learned, what little bit of ta little takeaway, maybe a ha moment that you got out of this. And if you are not already part of our Thrive and uh, Thrive and Take Charge group, which is about transforming, activating, and enriching your life, then you need to make sure you join our group as well. Because what I want to teach you is not just to be proactive but to really make a change in your life. And what you'll end up doing is creating a ripple effect of change throughout your family, throughout your community. And we are about to change the world when it comes to your metabolic health. Cheers to you and have a fabulous day.